What's up guys, it's a terraformer, and here's the thing. Hey, good evening there, human. I need help. Bowser has kidnapped the others of my tribe, as well as our two artifacts. And basically, I forgot to show that off in the first video. And it kind of pertains to the plot. Yes, this game has plot. And that's pretty cool. Neat touch. Back to play some Marvelous Birds, and it didn't save my project progress at the yellow switch, so let's play my old file and play number one wooden floors. And we got these cool, well, lava blocks in the background. I always like that thing from Super Mario World. And you got these interesting blocks. Wee! Wee, wee, wee! All the way home. But Mario has no intention on going home right now. He has some birdies to save. And Thwomp's Womps with black eyes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How would one go about giving a thwomp a black eye? I mean, the only things that can really hurt them is like Koopa shells and maybe those blue pick up upable blocks. And that's pretty much it. Maybe a cape if you're close enough, but like that, that's a bit risky, <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you hit the above block, the door with the green key lock will become unlocked. Well, of course you know what I mean. That was pretty dumb, but you hit that block, and you come back to the door that we saw earlier. Yay, but Thwomps, they seem pretty tough to be beaten up to the point where they would have black eyes. Pretty cool stuff, but yeah, let's move right along. I did not post yesterday, and... I said I was going to post every day, but I did post a Mega Man, but that was all I really had time for. <laughs> Note to Bowser, I managed to kidnap those beautiful looking birds. They've been brought to our temple. Yeah, terrible stuff. They're gonna mistreat our birdie friends, and mistreatment of animals is never good. Like, ever. Ever, 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 ever. It's a terrible thing, and I shouldn't have laugh there, but yeah, serious issue, on a serious note, a terraformer being serious, what the fuck, let's not be serious, <laughs> let's be kind of upbeat and play some Marios, and this, we got some more of that stuff going on, and we are coming up to a mini custom boss, custom mini boss type substance here, let's just get in the door. And it's some custom looking looking guy and Chuck and I blatantly miss power ups. That's just great times. Let's just try not to do the D word. And I yeah, I didn't. So there we go. Did not that D word that I do not like to say. I don't like to like I've said in a previous video, I believe, I believe I touched upon not mentioning the beast while I am small Mario, basically. But Mario realized that this is a very serious issue. The birds seem to be in immense trouble. What will come next? Is there hope to save the birds? And what about the artifacts? Um, yeah, let's get those birdies. And in the last video at the end, I was talking about... Meltdown in the Mushroom Kingdom in the first castle, and don't get me wrong, I can get through the castle alright, I just don't know about the boss. Down the beach. And the boss is basically like the th throw the bombs at the thwomp, and unless I've seen Raukau do it, which I don't think I have, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it without save states, so maybe if I played around with it a little bit, I'd be able to figure that out, but yeah, maybe I should talk now about how I actually play these hacks. I, I don't really play blindly. I, I preview a little bit of what's to come next, basically plan out the next video, see where I'm going to go to save, and in this episode it will be the ghost house coming up, and I'm glad I did, <laughs> because, well, this level isn't too, like, difficult, it's basically find the springboard to victory. And now that I know where the springboards are, it's pretty simple, and I kind of just miss the other stuff going on, but that's kind of unfortunate, but it's, you know, 
Um, I actually wish I got this on recording. Pretty much, I killed that guy, and I guess I wasn't on there yet, so I came, when I, once I got on the platform, he, like, respawned into me, and it was kind of funny. I mean, I could recreate it now if I really wanted to, but, I don't know, it would take too much time, and I don't feel like wasting any hits stupidly, and slow-moving pokies that you have to wait to go down platforms to spin jump on them. I mean, kind of an annoyance, but it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, it happens. <laughs> it's pokies. They're probably going to be on some sort of type ledge type substance. And we have the end here. And those crates and barrels and stuff, I believe they are from the first Wario Lands game. But they look kind of recolored and stuff, so that's kind of cool. But like I was saying, I preview the game a little bit, Bowser's Temple, and I come back and do the recording. And these spikes, these, these drill spiky things, they remind me of Mario Gives Up 2 specifically, possibly the first one, I forget. But in the castles, they had them. Chuck's on this earth. I have used some magic on you. Mario's fireball and his cape will not harm you anymore. Lots of explanation points. Yeah, so you gotta jump on them, and luckily they're usually in those closed corridors, so you can kind of get them into a loop. But here's some text. Whoa, it's you, remember? I'm the bird that who was sitting on that tree asking you for help. Thank God you are alive. Those evil jerks have put us all in jail. Well, technically not. Years ago, one of us decided to leave due to a heavy quarrel. He said he would fly far, far away, never to come back. I wonder if he's okay. I am sure he will help you if you ever get to meet him. I so hope this becomes true. Our artifacts are the only way to rescue us and put peace to the land again. We are counting on you. Good luck and watch out. It's dangerous to go alone to take this. Sorry, had to do it. I know it's an old joke, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, Piranha Sand Cave. So basically the artifacts are the MacGuffin, and thanks for, um, Johnny from the Brain Scratch Comedy people that he taught me this, that word. And I'll show off this little bonus thing, but basically, I think it's a little too dangerous for what it's worth. I I died once here, and I don't really want to show that again, but it just goes up a little bit more coins scattered about, and that's really about it, so not worth it for life grinding, but that hasn't been exactly needed yet. The ghost house is a little tricky, but knowing what to do... It shouldn't be too bad, it's just a matter of talking while actually playing it. I don't need that. And I don't know why, on those ledges you kind of get stuck. And that's not the only way up there, there's an invisible coin, and you can also make the jump, like, just by jumping, so that's cool. Cave story music, always good. I actually just recently got to that part in the game. It's like a broken down factory type substance, and you fight this weird boss that I haven't yet beaten, so there's that, but yeah, it has some great music, um, it's not exactly like a cave in the, in the this sense, but you know, it's, yeah, <laughs> the whole game takes place in a series of caves, so that that's a thing. Here's the key. I knew exactly where that was because I, like I said, played this earlier, so <laughs> that's just great. But if I, yeah, if I miss, if I die or something, see the scrolling starts here. This tube, that's where the midpoint leads you, so you can only go back and do the regular exit, and, or if you didn't, if you had the regular exit, then you basically have to finish the level again just to get the secret exit. That coin, not worth it. It's, I don't know. Usually when screens are scrolling, worries me a little, and I fumble around a bit more than I usually do. Can you please go up the pipe? Thank you, Mario. We got some more of these big piranhas. Good. I mean, piranhas. Those are piranhas, but <laughs> spiky, spiny top things press the P, and we have secret 
that I'm not playing in this episode. I just don't have the time. We're already at 10 minutes, I have another exit to do, and I have a ghost ass. Extreming panic. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get to where I was, and we're gonna come back and do that. <laughs> So fucking out of key. So yeah, just showing off this little place. I died. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, and more stuff here. Forgot forgetting things. Yay. And we are back at this particular junction. We got a P switch that I don't need, but I guess I'm going to go and get the power up from it. Thank you very much. Off. Uh, yeah, almost cursed there, even though I've been cursing a lot more than I said I would. But, you know, it happens from time to time. Sometimes you feel like saying a word that you're not supposed to, and it's like, oh boy, I said a bad word. Thank you. Ah! Oh, no! No! Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? You are so mean. I didn't know that it just gives you mushroom. That's that's that is unfairness. I don't really need it here. Mystic lights, because in ghost house places, there's not usually a lot of stuff to burn, or at least not in this place. I got a free life. That is just <laughs> very needed, probably. Hopefully not, though. I don't feel like editing the shit out of this part, but come on there, booze. Come on. I need your help in this, in this level. Actually, yeah, I need booze help at least one more time, but they are not those kind of booze, so we'll be seeing them soon. And, yeah, we got this part with the moving floor, and I, <laughs> yeah, I, that's, I fell through there a bit the text box that I didn't show off because I'm afraid it will kill me. I should have went there, but, you know, let's wait again. Let's wait a little bit. Let's wait for the first time ever doing this. I mean, you guys seeing this, at least. I've done this a few times, just learning it up, yo, and might as well wait for that guy to do some things. And here you can see, that's a different color. <laughs> My fireballs go straight through it, and that's the little gimme of this part. There, There's a hole there, too, and I missed that before a few times, that, or at least once. That was the death of me at least once, but you come over here, you don't need the reset pipe as long as you know what you're doing. Let's see if I could do this the easy way, although I might just show off the hard way for the hell of it. Yep, I'm showing off the hard way. So you come over here, wait for the boo carousel, and then you stand around like a moron shooting fireballs because you're bored and can't do anything. Let's go, buddies. Yup. Here's the gimme here. And that's uh, just great. Um, I mean, it's not so much a problem with these guys. It's just making sure they don't go off screen, which isn't too much of a problem. I... Once I actually did it, I guess, it, I was like, oh, this isn't as hard as I, I was making it seem. Let's go, buddies. Come on, booze. We're going for a ride. We're going for a trip. We have to go up here. And you didn't despawn. Thank God. A little bit lower. And... And there we go. That was pretty lucky, actually. So we come up here, and here's a little extra section that kind of worries me a bit. It's not very long, it's just not a place I would want to do some D-wording in, let's just say. But we made it through with some skill showing off. Not much, though. <laughs> just a little bit. 
And, I don't know, this episode was alright. I don't think it was one of my better works. I was kind of a fearful of how that would go, and that went a lot better than I thought it was. So, let's hope this saves, and next time we'll be facing... Actually, no. Well, we'll be doing Sandshrelgal at some point, but...